My family used to tell me that my uncle drowned himself in this pot. I can't remember who told me the story first, only that I forever lived in fear of that pot and the thought of how he must have contorted his body to fit inside. I believed that it was haunted. When my parents gave it away, none of my siblings wanted it. It felt wrong to let it go, so it's stayed with me ever since. I felt connected to it, in a way. My uncle eventually moved to my grandfather's city to help with the family business. He struggled with it. Afternoons of gambling became nights of drinking, and uncle invariably lost. For months, he was drawn to those tables, and for months, the company funds went down the drain. Grandfather eventually sent him to work at an old tin mine. There was nothing for uncle to do there except to explore the old mining quarry. It was in those cold waters that he learned how to swim. Uncle was the only one who dared to swim across. It was not the distance, but the depth that scared the others. The rumors were that not only would you drown, but you would be swallowed. Your body might never stop sinking. One day, Uncle borrowed a pair of goggles from the factory. He slipped them over his eyes and dived beneath the water's surface. For whatever reason, Uncle became obsessed with reaching the bottom. Once, he tried to make a buoy that would anchor his raft. He tethered an empty oil drum to it with a rock for ballast, but he misjudged the weight. The drum sank out of sight, almost dragging the raft with it. When he finally hauled it back to the surface, it had been crushed like a can. He reasoned that some large, malevolent water spirit was responsible, and that it lay curled at the bottom of the quarry. It didn't frighten Uncle. It angered him. Its existence meant that the quarry was not truly his. One day, so that the quarry would solely belong to him, he decided to catch the creature. He lined a net with stones and glowing lights and let it sink to the bottom.
However, while holding onto the rope, he began to panic, and he started sinking too far. He felt his lungs constrict, and he could no longer tell the stars in the sky from the lights in the net. out, the culprit responsible for crushing the drum was simply water pressure. He paid for his misjudgment with a burst lung. Uncle never again experienced the joy he felt when he first discovered the quarry. His marriage ended horribly, and he found himself addicted to gambling, owing large sums of money to loan sharks. One day, he filled the pot and climbed inside. Forever. I've since grown out of these supernatural tales, but I've never been able to forget the story of my uncle. Every time it rains, every time the pot starts to fill, I think of him. <laughs>